Look at my book. Hey there, thank you. Do your affiliate paperwork. There's affiliate paperwork? Are you kidding me? No, I didn't do no affiliate paperwork. Are you taking pictures of me? Oh, thanks. I'm modeling. <laughs> Smooth operator. Tell me about this affiliate paperwork because I didn't know I had to do that. Okay, so tonight we're going to be building worlds and drawing pictures in Minecraft. If you if I'm looking over here, it's because I have my MacBook Air, and that's when I'm watching myself and um, the the chat, so I can like see what y'all are saying. Let's not act crazy tonight. I'm trying to get this done and over with. I'm in my desk area tonight. I finally came over here. Desk setup in my living room. How do you guys like it? Do you like the last setup better or this one? I remember everything now. I don't even have to I don't even have to look back. This is all the stuff I built last night. Oh you oh you can't see. Yeah, this is all the stuff that I built in Minecraft. This is glowing obsidian. That's lava over there. There's my mushroom, my grass, my dirt, my wooden plank, my golden. What is that? Gold gold block. Um I got a water stream over here. Yeah, we just made like a cute little setup. Stay plan. Some a hello ton mushrooms in the air. As y'all can see. Bunch of mushrooms. Block in the air. Let's start by building worlds now. See, I don't even have to look back at the thing now. I've typed it so many times. So far, you've been working with whatever world Minecraft created with you, for you. However, if you're going to create any sort of reusable program, you need to be able to know where everything is located at the start. To do this, you need to set the world to be how you want it. The following scripts sets a 200 by 200 square in the center of the world to be smooth grass. Type 2 with air above it. Type 0. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some thinking. I wanna go where the mountains are. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Please don't be in the water. Yay, I'm on some mountains. Look at me. Hey, we got to the mountains. In the book it says negative 100. We're not doing negative 100. I wanna go all the way up there to the top. Okay. I wanna see what I got to work with over here. We got a little pyramid over there. All the way up here. Okay, let's go down to the beach. I'm going to build everything right here. And then, I'm not getting this. They This uses the method step blocks X1, X, X1, Y1, Z1, which sets every block between. Okay. Let's try it. Did this right. Oh, it, it did it, but I I cropped them out. Oh, it did the grass. Holy shit. Oh my god, I put a bunch of grass there. Y'all see it? Right click on the block. Oh, there we go. Yay! So basically, what's Minecraft? Minecraft is a computer game, apparently, that I did not grow up playing. Minecraft is a sandbox video game created by Swedish game developer Marcus Pearson and released by Mojang in 2011. The game allows players to build with a variety of different blocks in a 3D procedurally generated world recurrent requiring creativity from players so i'm pretty much just sitting here and being an artist in a computer game basically i'm using the python programming language on my little raspberry pi um 
to hack this Minecraft platform and build whatever I want with it, basically. And then zero. Oh, look at, oh, holy shit. Do y'all see that? Look at all the air that I put there. So that is air. You can see air. I lifted everything off the ground. Okay, let's see what I did. Look what I did. That's off the ground. And I basically built this little Oh. Yep. I knew wait, I'm in the air. I'm floating. I am literally in the air. I'm five blocks up in the air. And I'm going oh my god, I'm going higher. How do I get down? I'm flying. Holy shit, I can see the whole world. If I press spacebar, I go up. Oh, oh, so spacebar brings me back down. Oh, when you double click space, when you triple spacebar, it makes you go up in the air. And then like, when you press W, it makes you go higher. I am learning Minecraft. I'm flying. I'm finding the hacks. This is so cool. So we built worlds. We built a little world down here, as y'all can see. There's my little grass piece. We started over there. And then um, I added all this grass here. Right here. It went. It goes all the way out there. And then I added air over here, and it lifted that piece of grass up. So we built the world. I'm still a little confused on the coordinates of stuff and getting it where I want to, but at least we, that's working. Now we're going to move on to drawing pictures. Now you know how to set blocks. You can start doing something useful with them. Where this is... Can you please stop him from beeping? It says, were this a full version of Minecraft, you could use this to build some... Sorry about that. Ugh. You could use this to build some form of ultimate fortress to fill, shelter your character. However, the version of Minecraft on Pi isn't the full version. Instead, you can use this version for more aesthetic reasons, such as drawing pictures with blocks, the following code does that just, it's on the website, it's chapter eight art. Oh, okay. Now we're gonna be drawing pictures. I'm gonna draw pictures, there's a bunch of code here. There's a bunch of, there's a few line of code and Twitter. Oh, you follow me on Twitter too. I have some, some, some supporters up in here tonight. Thank you. So there's a few lines of code and I'm just gonna go through and write it and we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk through it. Equals zero. I feel like I'm not doing something right. And um, we're gonna have some errors. Equals horizontal. Cause they didn't tell me to start like a new terminal or anything. And some of the code that they have here is already I've already put it in here so I don't understand why would I retype it but we'll just go ahead and get this typed up and see what happens <laughs> I wonder if I'm supposed to run it from like I was supposed to run it. I don't know, like they didn't tell me. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing.
it would be cool if y'all could like hop on here and we could do it together if they allow that if we could do like a group um a group group stream and like we could all do the pro project at the same time i really want to start doing that um zach who convinced me to get on here and do this stuff he wants to do like um oh it worked it worked he convinced me to hop on here and do um live like um ctf challenges and I'm going to do that in the near future after I finish this book and get all the blog posts out. We can, like, get on here and um, all packing challenges together, which I think will be very fun. I just got to find out if um, we can, like, hop on here together and do that. So, RGA. Oh shit. Mm, I don't know if I should start over or has anybody coded um has anybody coded inside of a terminal terminal before? I feel like I'm also doing a um, ASMR with the keyboard. <laughs> Let me try something. Yeah, I know. This is the reality of coding. Okay, so I think I know what's going on. I think I know what's going on, and I think I know what I'm going to have to do. And we're going to switch over to another page. Code writing in my IDE editor. Screen. I do web dev and I'm getting into JavaScript and Python myself. I also have no deal with going on most of the time. Oh my God. But we're all learning. You know what I'm saying? We're all learning. And we're going to use this keyboard. This keyboard. Oh, this way. I love it. I won this at a security event from Lockheed Martin. They were doing a giveaway, and I said, that setup is mine. And I have a gaming mouse, too, but I don't know where it is. All right, let's code, because I am i can't be on here for too much longer. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to type it up now. And then what I'm going to do when I get back into the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to open it via the command line. And um, see if that works. To be honest with you, I don't think it was supposed to be like that. I don't think I was supposed to be typing the code in the command line because it says, Instead, you can use this version for more aesthetic reasons, such as this is the following code does, does just that. It's on the website. So they already have the code pre-written. But what I usually do is, what I've done throughout this whole book, um, instead of just copying the code and um, applying it to the program, I went through and typed everything um, word for word line for line and um i understand it i know what's going on so if you want to learn python and you get this book and you want to understand like the syntax and how it's um organized 
I highly recommend typing everything by hand. One thing I wish they did in this book is um, I wish they would have commented the code and what it does for each project. They didn't do that. Um, and it's, I think that would have really helped me with commenting better because I don't know how to comment worth the shit when I'm coding something, an art skill that I would love to acquire in the future because I heard it's very beneficial. And I eventually want to go back and like comment on this just in case, you know, someone else wants reference to all the projects. Because I haven't really seen too many people online um, use this book and actually have like all the programs, um, have like all the programs done. Like they went through the book and like all their code is on GitHub. Um, I have yet to seen that. And I wish somebody had done it so I could see what I'm doing wrong. But I guess I'm going to have to be that person for everyone else since I'm marketing the book. Um, and some people might want to see this. That's how I think. Like if I see something that is missing or something that I wish that I had, I try and go and fill the gap. Because I'm like, if I wanted it, I know damn well somebody else wanted it. So, how can I help? So, I've been on Cyber learning how to do vulnerability analysis in Cali. Um, what else have I been doing? Typing up vulnerability reports. Using Nmap to scan. Like, nothing to do with coding at all. Everything is done in Cali. Yeah, I'm going to wait. <laughs> okay, so I have written all the code right here. Oh, I have not done that in so long. Feels good. Okay. It went through. I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be seeing. Now that the program ignores any character that isn't RG or RG or B, so you can include them in your picture, but they will be represented as space. For example, the following text will create a smiley face. Okay, what the fuck? Where? I have no clue where the fuck this thing is. Oh shit, it's one o'clock. Y'all, I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> we will finish this up tomorrow. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. I'm gonna have to do some troubleshooting on this and do some research because I have no clue what's going on. I have done, let me see. This is day four. Day four of my Minecraft challenge for this month. I have one more video. Till I finish my day five Minecraft challenge, and then I have five YouTube videos to get out. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I'm gonna do some researching, hopefully, and like see what's going on and how to get. It's supposed to be a smiley face in the in the world, but I don't see a goddamn smiley face. All right. Well, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.